Hi, it's Richard from Fun Fit Adventure. We're here today to have a look at the, the new Hero Ranger. This is the 2020 model Hero Ranger. And we did a video last year that showed you the 2019 model. And what we thought we would do is show you a, a detailed walkthrough. We'll show you all the features, have a walk around, have a look inside at the 2020 model, tell you a little bit about what's changed with this one. So this is the Hero Ranger here. We've got two in the showroom at the minute. These are stock models, both, both for sale. And what I'll do is I'll show you around this one first, and then we'll show you the, the skybox and the kitchen awning on the, the Ranger next to us. So let's start at the front. The, um, the Hero Rangers are all built on a, a German knot chassis. So you can see the chassis here, uh, very good brake on it and a standard ball hitch on the front with 13 pin electrics. There's also the option, you can see there's a, a power cable running down from the, the electrics here. That's, that's to be able to charge the battery while you're driving. It's actually a, an option, but certainly we recommend worth putting that on. And then you can have the, the battery charging while you're, while you're driving. So jockey wheel on the front. And then we've got the, the gas box or storage box on the front here. Now this, uh, some people do change this and take this off. There is an option to remove this and have a, a Thule bike rack on the front. We've had a customer that's got a three bike carrier on the front, others that have gone for a, the standard two Thule bike carrier. So it is possible to remove that and put the bikes on the front. The Hero Traveler does come as standard with the bike rack on the front. Whereas the Hero Ranger comes as standard with the storage box, but you can remove that and put the bike rack on if that's something that you wanted to do. So on the front here, this one's got the optional solar panel. So we've got a 100 watt flexible flat solar panel welded on, on the front here. And that goes into the, the solar controller on the inside and into the battery. We'll show you that when we have a look, have a look inside. The, the roof rack on the top here called the Sky Rack that comes as standard with the Hero Ranger. That gives you a lot of storage options for on the top there. And, and of course the two bars that run across where the sky rack attaches to also standard on the Hero Ranger model. What I should have mentioned on the solar panel was for 2020, you see this has changed. The solar panel you might have seen from our video last year ran vertically across up to the top here. And this one runs across horizontally across the front. It's, it's quite a nice position here for catching the sun, but also if you're carrying anything on the, the roof rack uh, before the top half of the, uh, the solar panel would have been shaded. But this gives you much more, um, much more access to the full solar panel when you are carrying things on the roof. So if you come around the side here, on the side of the Ranger here, we've got the, the Thule awning. We can't, we can't take it all the way out because we haven't got enough space here, but the, the awning does come all the way out and you have got the option of adding the walls and the front to that, which does have windows in as well. So the awning is, a, is an optional extra. That doesn't come as standard with the Ranger, but it is one of the accessories. And we've got two different sizes of awnings that can be added. There's a slightly longer one as well, if that's something that, that you would want. We've got new lights here for the 2020 model. So the LED lights, and pop that on the front here. These are larger, larger LED lights on the on the side, which is which is quite nice. Also got the spare wheel. So that's a, an accessory on the Ranger, which can be added. There's a it's a spare wheel, and then there's a spare wheel bracket that gets added as well. We've got the big mud guards over the top here, the wheel arches, and you know these are all climbable and you can stand on the wheel arches uh, when you want to access the ladders, also get onto the onto the roof. Come and have a look around the back. We have the stabilizers on the side here. Stabilizers very easy easy to use. Straight up like that. That's you in your travelling position. Arrive at your campsite. Down it goes. And tighten it up very very easy one on each one on each side so if we have a look at the uh, the kitchen at the back open up the back here the um the 
back just clicks into place. You see it's on gas struts. And then to close it, you just give it a, a little tap up, push this, and back down it goes. So very, very easy to open and, open and close. We'll put the light on inside here. Got a nice LED light that runs along the back there. We've got 12 volts down here, and we've also got two, two main sockets as well. So we have some people that um, often plug in a coffee machine or an induction hob, or you can use a, a gas stove as well. So you can option up depending on how you want to use the kitchen at the back. We've got the two rails that run along the back here, and there's various ways you can use these in terms of connecting sort of pouches, hanging utensils. Lots of people do it in, in various different ways, but you've got these bars here that you can attach however you want to, to work your kitchen at the back. Stainless steel worktop, and then integrated is the sink with a little tap up here that runs the 12 volt pump from the water tank that's in this drawer just below here. So quite a quite a simple solution. Fill up the fill up the water, little 12 volt pump, out it comes, and then you put a bucket underneath to catch the waste water. There's a wastewater outlet that goes underneath. In terms of the drawers. You have a bit of storage here behind the water tank. At the back uh, behind the sink there is a 12 volt and also a mains power that can run a 12 volt cool box or fridge that can be put into this drawer here. That's, a, that's an option that can be added, a 12 volt cool box, or you can source your own and fit it into there. We've got three drawers besides here. You sort of cut the utensil drawer at the top, a little bit bigger, the middle drawer, and then the bottom drawer. You can see these are all metal drawers, quite robust, easy to clean. So that's the, the kitchen at the back. So we'll just pop the kitchen tailgate back down. Just closes with a, with a click, and then just to um to pull it in against the seals second click and that's it and it can be it can be locked from there now on the uh, on the back here the the lights are all integrated into the back here so we've got led led lights that run the lights from the vehicle and um and they look pretty cool when when driving along and then on this side if you come around here we can climb up here and got access to the sky rack on the top here. So quite easy access up the, uh, up the ladders on the side, which is good. Let's go and check out the inside. So here we are inside the Hero Ranger and let's have a little look about and see what's, see what's in here. So at this side, we've got um, also made of metal the cupboards, quite a generous, generous storage space inside. So the two cupboards there. And then underneath the cupboards, we've got this nice shelf that goes all the way back here. And then there's sort of the trim on the top. It's a, a little leather trim that runs along the, along the top here. Quite a lot of space on the inside to be able to, to kneel up. You can see what I'm doing here. So if, if you're getting changed and that, that's one of the big differences uh, with our other model on the bush camp, uh, you're not really able to, to kneel all the way up like this. You're a little bit lower down to be able to get changed. So you have got a bit more headspace in the in the Ranger. And you'll see we've got a LED strip along the top there. We've got some LED lights underneath. And we've also got some LED lights coming out behind the seats. And each, each one's you can operate independently so you can change the lighting inside to how you like. Yep, then behind the seats there, we've got the storage space. So there's a bit of storage behind this one. And we can also see where the um, the handle is for winding out the, the awning. And you've got a bit of space here. Um, you can actually put the, the kitchen awning here as well. It fits in there quite nicely. And then we've got the, the battery system across this side. So a couple of different options on, on batteries we can have. They're both the, the Optima batteries. And then CTEC battery charger. So that's actually charging from the mains. And then we've also got the, the solar controller, 
with a little Bluetooth dongle as well, so you can connect the app from your smartphone and monitor what's going on in the battery. So also down the front here, we've got uh, the, the, the foot panels. They actually come off, they're on, they're on a Velcro. And behind those foot panels is the heating system. So this, this caravan here is optioned up with the electric heating system. So you can see there the thermostatic control on the, on the side where you can operate and adjust the, the heating settings. And the, the, the heating unit is actually mounted behind one of the kitchen drawers. So this is the electric heating, so it'll work when you're connected to the mains power supply. And there's also an option for having a, a gas uh, gas central heating, which which will blow. It'll use the battery to blow 12 volts in terms of fans, um, the heat through the through the cabin. But um, but the fuel is is by a gas fire connecting to a, a gas bottle, which you can do on on the back. So if you're going to be using it off the grid and uh, won't be near an electric hookup, then the gas is a is an option to have. So in the roof here, we've got the uh, the roof window, which is um, which is standard now for the 2020 model. Uh, that used used to be an option, but now is is standard. So the uh, the window can be can be lifted up and down. And we've also got the fly mosquito net. Uh, as well as the blackout blind, which comes across and closes out the light as well. So that's quite nice, quite nice feature. Good that it's now standards. Most people seem to to add that on as a as an option. Anyway, and the we've got some charging on the side. We've got a couple of USB power sockets, as well as a, a mains plug as well. So in this one, you'll see the boxes that we've got here. We'll show you um, the, the black boxes here, are actually the, the sides uh, and the front walls for the for the awning, uh, the side awning. And then back here is actually the, the kitchen awning. We'll show you the kitchen awning on the other ranger because we've got that set up. And now the you can see the mattresses here. Uh, the mattresses just sit on a, a little raised up, um, raised up floor to let the air, air underneath the mattress. And, um, and the mattresses are quite a, a decent decent length in size and uh, and also pretty comfortable as well. It's nice how you can sit up against the backrests here and um, as well as sort of, you know, you go down and you've got the full length of the bed here without having to have any other, any other sort of cushions and things going on there. So let's go and have a look at the, the awning on the other Hero Ranger. So on the back of the Hero Campus, you have the option of adding... The kitchen awning on now the kitchen awning has changed a bit since last year it's um it used to come as a half half awning like this but now the new awning comes and it's got the zip on it here and there's a part that zips and goes all the way down to the ground so you can actually enclose fully enclose in the back end of the kitchen which is quite handy to do when the when the weather's a bit rough so come inside now the awning just runs along this bit of sail track that's in the back here. So you literally feed the, feed the awning along the sail track. It comes over the top. There's a, a metal pool frame that goes around, hoops around the top here, clips into the stabilizer legs at the bottom. And that's adjustable. So you can take that down further down to the ground. I've got it sort of quite high up here because we've still got a dusty concrete floor that we need to paint, but that'll go down further down to the ground and then of course you've got the, the second piece that'll come off and it'll taper off that way. So you'd have enough space here to have a table and chairs and then also be cooking here as well. So it gives you a nice closed in space and you could even add in, if you're on an electric hookup, you could have an electric fan heater or you could even have a, a gas heater as, a, as, a, as an option in this space to have a sort of nice warm area for the evenings for cooking and then heating as well. And then if you add that on with the side awning, You've also got space in the side awning and um, and have the walls on that as well. So there's plenty of space on the on the outside of the trailer to option up with the with the awnings. So we'll have a look on the inside of this one because we've got this one made up, so you can get an idea of what it looks like with all all the bedding made up. So let's have a look in this one. So we're across here on the the other ranger. Let's just have a quick look at the doors before we look inside. So on the doors here, we've got. Uh, Little, little netting for like a magazine rack on, on either side. And then the windows just clip up 
and we can open the window. We've also got the fly net there as well that'll move back and forwards across. And then we've got for the curtain or blind, little, little poppers, and down it comes there, keeps the, keeps the light out. So that's what we've got on the doors, and the doors clip back against the frame as well here to keep them back. And if you have a look inside, that's it with the, the bed made up. It gives you a bit of a feel for it. I'll close that up and maybe come and have a look at the storage box on the front. The other, the other storage box was closed down, so let's have a, a little look at what's going on in here. So there's a reasonable amount of space in the storage box. I've got the accessories for the awning there as well. And there's a, a strap here as well. And that strap could be used to, to strap in a, a gas bottle to the middle there um, for your gas stove. Or, of course, if you had a, a gas heater as, a, as an option. And that can be padlocked down on the front. So the next thing we're going to do is have a little look in the, in the sky box and see what the, the two-man tent looks like. So here we are up in the Hero Skybox. Very, very nice space to be. You can see it's a big double bed, plenty of space for two up here and plenty of windows. So all of the windows you can you can bring down, obviously, and close, and close the shell in. And you've also got the fly and mosquito nets. And I think with the four windows and being able to, to open them and have the fly nets on during the summer gives you this amazing sort of rooftop view, which is really nice from the, the top of the top of the skybox here. And of course gives you an extra extra place for sleeping another two people. And you can see the inside is all lined on the inside here. And um, a couple of mem memory foam pillows. Extremely comfortable mattress that's inside here. Now you would normally just leave your bedding up here as well and have the bedding all laid out. And when you pop up the sky box, it's all here and ready to go. You literally just put the ladder up against the hero, climb up and you're in. It's, um, it's designed to be as, as simple as possible. You can see on the sides, on the corners, um, are the actual, the struts, the gas struts for the, um, for the roof box. So when the roof box comes down, and we'll do, we'll do a different video and a separate video and show the, the sky box going up and down and how it works. But um, the roof literally comes down on the struts and clips in on the outside and creates a nice flat box on top of the Hero Ranger um, or Traveller. And of course, the sky box can be used on top of a, a car as well. It doesn't just have to be used on on top of um, on top of one of the hero campus you can put it on uh, on, on other ones as well or on the car but on the heroes it fits on top of the on top of the sky rack which is quite a nice way to fit it because then you've got the option of being able to lift off the rooftop tent and then use the sky rack for luggage if you actually don't need the extra beds on the top so it gives you a little bit of flexibility as to how how you want to use it, but certainly very nice, very nice space up here. So just thought I'd show you the, the ladder for the, the sky box. So this comes with the sky box and just, just hooks over the side here. Now it is possible to use this ladder and jump up, probably for the smaller ones, but, uh, but this ladder can go on either side. So depending on what side of the caravan that you're using, the ladder can just clip on. It all concertinas down, so it's, a, it's quite a nice, easy to use ladder. Straight in, this has got the, the fly net, runs up the fly net, and then you're straight in there. So nice and easy, nice and easy to use. So these are the Hero Rangers, the 2020 models. Now, please get in touch and we we'll, can send you the spec sheet uh, or we can send you the, the accessories. Also on the website, we've got the new website being launched might have already been launched by the time you watch this video and that will have all of the information the price list to be able to download but if you can't find them just drop me an email get in touch and and i can send you all those sorts of things out and any questions that you might have now these are our two stock models that we've got in the store at the minute now of course the stock models that we have in change all the time the ones that we have in stock are, are ready to ready to drive away and head off on your adventures but uh, if you wanted to, to spec up a, a new model from the factory, 
then that's uh, that's generally about three to four months in terms of the lead time. So you sort of need to think ahead if you want them to do that, because we need to be able to to book a slot with the the factory and get that and get that organised. So that's the Rangers, and uh, yeah, please get in touch if you've got any questions. And thank you for watching.